Their performances were all outstanding. Here are the nominees for best performance by an actor in a leading role. Don Cheadle in Hotel Rwanda. They say you led the massacre. I led no massacres. Do you think they're going to believe you? You will tell them the truth. I will tell them nothing unless you help me. What, what are you going to do? Shoot me? Shoot me. Please shoot me. It would be a blessing. I will pay you. Johnny Depp in Finding Neverland. She went to Neverland. And you can visit her anytime you like. You should just go there yourself. How? By believing, Peter. Leonardo DiCaprio in The Aviator. Actresses are cheap in this town, darling. I got a lot of money. Howard, please, this is Benicio. No, no, this, this is exactly me. You come in here out of the blue and tell me you're leaving me just like that, and you have the nerve to expect graciousness? I expect you to face the situation like an adult who... Don't some... talk down to me. Don't you ever talk down to me. You are a movie star. Nothing more. Clint Eastwood and Million Dollar Baby. What did your manager do? You were a hell of a fighter, a lot better than Willie. He gets you a title fight, or did he just bust you out, banging your head against other people's fists until you lost your eye? I had my shot. Yeah, well, I remember. And excuse me if I didn't want my fighter spending the second half of his life cleaning up other people's spit. Jamie Foxx. And Ray. Atlantic has done pretty good money wise on my records, have we? Yes, we've done very well, Ray. Yeah, you were the ones that taught me that making a record is business and find the best business deal that you can. Now, 75 cents of every dollar and owning my own masters is a pretty damn good deal. Can you manage it? And the Oscar goes to Jamie Foxx and Ray. This is the first Academy Award and second nomination for Jamie Foxx. He's the tenth person to be nominated in both acting categories in the same year. I guess we got to do it again. Oh! Oh! Um. Yeah, you ready. That's to Ray Charles. Give it up for Ray Charles and his beautiful legacy. And thank you, Ray Charles, for living. I got so many people to thank tonight. And first, I'm going to start it out with Taylor Hackford. Taylor, you took a chance, man. I mean, that love for Ray Charles was deep down in the earth somewhere, and you opened it up, and it's cracked open, and it's spilling, and Everybody is drowning in this love, and I thank you for taking a chance on this film, and thank you for waiting 15 years to get me to do it. Uh, I want to thank you. I want to thank uh, Crusader. I want to thank, I want to thank my my agents. I want to thank Rick Kurtzman. I want to thank uh, Kim Hodgett. I want to thank uh, Steve Smoot. I want to thank my managers, Jamie King and Marcus King. Let's uh, let's live this African American dream. It's beautiful. I'm glad I'm with you, and I ain't never leaving you. So I love you. Uh, I got a chance to meet a whole lot of people experiencing this. Uh, and other people I want to thank, I want to thank my, my sister, 4 foot 11, uh, of, of nothing but pure love. I want to thank my daughter for telling me just before I got up here, if you don't win, Dad, you're still good. <laughs> I'm just look, I just see Oprah and I see Hallie. I just want to say your names. Uh, 
I want to talk to you later, both of you. <laughs> uh, because Oprah got a, uh, allowed me to meet somebody uh, by the name of Sidney Poitier. And uh, yes, Sidney Poitier said, I saw you once, and I looked in your eyes, and there was a connection. And he says, I give to you responsibility. So I'm taking that responsibility tonight. And uh, thank you, Sidney. This is, the, this is probably going to be the toughest part of this, this speech. My daughter shares uh, uh, my, my grandmother's name, uh, Marie. My grandmother's name is Estelle Marie Talley. And she's not here tonight. And this is going to be the toughest part. But she was my first acting teacher. She told me, stand up straight. Put your shoulders back. Act like you've got some sense. <laughs> we would go places, and I would wild out. And she says, act like you've been somewhere. Uh, and then when I would act a fool, she would, she would beat me. She would whoop me. And she could get an Oscar for the way she whooped me because she was great at it. And after she whipped me, she would talk to me and tell me why she whipped me. Said, I want you to be a Southern gentleman. And uh, she still talks to me now. Only now she talks to me in my dreams. And I can't wait to go to sleep tonight because we've got a lot to talk about. I love you. <laughs>